Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Tuesday, September 6th. It is the 249th day of the year. There are 116 days left. Happy National Read a Book Day! National Read a Book Day is observed annually on September 6th. On August 9th, we all celebrated National Book Lovers Day. While these bookish days may seem similar, National Read a Book Day invites us all to grab a book we might enjoy and spend the day reading. Don't keep it to yourself. Share the experience. Read aloud either to children or to grandparents. Read to your pets or to your stuffed animals and plants. Reading improves memory and concentration as well as reduces stress. Older adults who spend time reading show a slower cognitive decline and tend to participate in more mentally stimulating activities over their lifetime. Books are inexpensive entertainment, an educational tool, and a time machine, too. Today is also another Look Unlimited Day, Fight Procrastination Day, National Coffee Ice Cream Day, and Telephone Tuesday. Okay, so nowadays most books are digital, right? However, this is always a good thing to know how to do. Let's make our own book cover. Gather the following supplies. A paper grocery bag, your favorite book, and some markers. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut up your paper bag until it's just a little bit bigger than your book when it's wide open. Then you're going to measure the top and the bottom and fold the paper bag at the top and the bottom to be exactly the same height as your book. And what that's gonna do is it's going to open up two little channels on the ends. For you to tuck the cover of the book in and fold it around. Don't get frustrated, it may take a couple of tries, but you can definitely do this one. And then when you're all done, you get to decorate it however you want. This was my favorite thing to do when I was in school because I could decorate each book for the different subject and it kept the book safe. Remember I told you yesterday we were changing the format of shout outs? Hang on, they're coming. Okay, National Dayers, how great is this? It's like all of the great things about a textbook but you get to draw and make it your own. You know I love my customizable crafts, right? So I remember making these book covers when I was a kid and I loved, I liked to tape them right here. There's supposed to be like no tape book covers, but it always bothered me that this little part right here stuck up at the top. So we all have our things to make it our own. Mine was always tape. Keep smiling, National Dares. Read a book today. Have a terrific Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Today's shout outs start us off today with Mrs. Penelope and everyone in the Strides program at Castro Valley Adult and Career Education School in Castro Valley, California. Next up is Mrs. Nicole and everyone in the high school community-based program at Peabody Magnet High School in Alexandria, Louisiana. Our third shout out today goes out to Miss Becky and everyone in the Multiply Disabled Special Education Program at GST BOCES in Elmira, New York. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And yesterday was Labor Day, so you know what that means. 
it's time to start a new super spectacular shout out map. <laughs>